Jonathan. I'm Chris. This is Garbage Horror Out of the Can Haunt Review 2015 for Eckert's Fun Farm in Milstadt, Illinois. Milstadt. I'm hoping I got that. That sounded way more German it, than it, it probably it should. It sounds close. It, it does sound yeah. pretty close. Um, but anyways, Milstadt, <laughs> Illinois. Um, this is a very interesting attraction. Yeah. So basically, after going to the two big haunts yeah. in the area, we decided to have a family fun night. Yeah. Um, you know, take Ellie's son, all four. Of course, he was with us at the big haunt, so that's not well, the special yeah, part. but we did invite one of her friends locally. Yes, and, and she was very lovely. Shot well, the little, you know, preview horse. teaser. Well, that's on our Facebook page. Yes. But, yeah, basically decided to head out and try some of the smaller area haunts. And right. one of the first things we checked it out, checked it out, <laughs> checked out was um, Eckert's Fun Farm in Milstead. Yes. Now, this was a haunted hayride minus hay. Yes. I'm still a little confused on that part. Yes, and it was our first haunted hayride. Yeah, and, and we Might were talking say. talking about this <laughs> um, uh, as we were getting ready to do it. Right. That neither of us had done, or at least we could recall doing, a haunted hayride because right. I remember when I was able to go on them as a kid. I was at that stupid age, where like, oh no, that's for little babies. Only <laughs> babies do may ride. Nah, 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 nah. And then you know, I I grew up and never got the opportunity. With a little more wisdom, to right? Do it. There's not a lot of around here. If um, yeah, it's not a big thing in this know, area. Yeah, if if anybody knows of any, yeah, you know, no. please send it to us. We'll or love, put love it in check the it comments, out. and we'll check it out. Yeah, we're not against haunted hay rides. Yeah. It's just the opportunity never arose. So we were excited to try this one. Yes. And for those who don't know, Eckert's Farm is kind of a huge business in this Eastern yeah. St. Louis area. It's it's pretty big. It's giant. Yeah. Um, it, well, I think it's two, three farms. Is it? I know of at least two because we were at right, two. two of them. I think we think there are three actually, and they own a huge restaurant, a huge grocery store, a huge frozen custard stand, which is a huge business in that area. Right. Um, and they own a, a big touristy apple picking and fruit picking business where you yes. can go and pick stuff and get towed around in the little wagons. They take you on the haunted tour. And yes. So, so, what was your, what was your thoughts on this? We we got there. Fairly early in the night. I think we were on the, one of the first tours. Yeah, we should mention um, real quick the corn maze closes after dark. We got there after dark. We did not know this. Yes. So if you do plan on doing that, we can't review it, but go early enough to, to get that in the hay ride. Yeah, my we honest. We didn't hit that sweet spot. No, we did. My honest advice is definitely to get there like a few hours before dusk, could do both. And yeah. they have plenty of stuff there to eat oh, yeah. for dinner. So yeah. what you know, go. Do the corn maze, hang out, get some dinner, and then do the haunted hay ride. If you're going to do the haunted hay ride, this right. is for you. That's how you do it. We screwed up. Yeah. There. How's that? <laughs> that sounds accurate. We got there just in time for like the first two loads of people in the haunted hay ride. Right. Though. And I've got to say, I had a great time with this. One. I had a blast. It, it was a lot of fun. I, I really, yeah. I did not expect it to be scary, and it no really wasn't. It was eerie. It was creepy. I don't know. It got a lot of screams and a lot of startles. Yeah, from the people. And I did not realize how scary corn can be with just a little bit of breeze if you know that sometimes it's a breeze and sometimes it's a person. Yeah, there is definitely a lot of anticipation <laughs> with this particular haunted yes. attraction style because they and they did a very good job setting it up. Right. And considering the limitations of a haunted hayride, meaning you're contained in a, a giant wagon being towed yes, around by a tractor. Yes, we were in the middle. We weren't on the edges where the people yeah. were actually running up to. Yeah, it's kind of a three rows of benches deal right. here. We were in the middle, which put us like the most insulated position we could be in. Yeah. There, we were literally as far from the actors as we could get. It's just where we ended up sitting. We didn't choose unless it. Unless we were up top with that little girl. Yeah. Unless who we're screamed at everything. And it was awesome. And that was what I think made this attraction so special, was that it was a true family attraction. Yeah. There were lots of parents and their kids, lots of teenagers. I mean, literally, you could every age range was represented in just our wagon. Right. Um, so I thought that was pretty special. Mm -hmm. Now, that being said, this is, like I said, Eckert's is a huge business. Yes. And that's not a knock at them, believe me. But, so this was kind of a, a Disney interpretation of it. They had the money and the resources to do this. You know, mm -hmm. very, very specially, so to speak, right. with, a, with a lot of attention to detail that you might not get at other haunted attractions mm -hmm. and of the similar scope, other haunted right. day rides. But I, you know, I remember thinking during one of the down times of it, you know, we're under the uh, October sky and the corn's rustling and like you're trying to figure out if it's actors <laughs> or if it's wind. And we're thinking, you know, this is what Halloween is about right here. It's the cool autumn chill and just that little bit of unease constantly surrounding you. Right. And 
my personal highlight to this was that kind of kind of the, the climax of it, and we don't usually do spoilery stuff, but they have the best v fake vehicle chase sequence I've seen at any home attraction. Well, yeah, because the vehicle was <laughs> <Or> real. <laughs> okay, a, because it's a little more real than usual. <laughs> yeah. And B, it was just very, very well executed. Because, you know, you go to, like, House of Shock, yeah. you go to um, 13th, 13th Gate. Gate, it's well known for doing it. Yeah. And who, who have either doing or whether doing it or have done it in the past, it never right. feels visceral. Right. Because you know the setup, you know you're in a building. Yeah. This, it's real ish. You can close it, you can make it real. Right. You know? So, yeah, it was a lot of fun. And, you know, it was well worth the trip. It was. Um, it was not that much money. I no. think it was twelve bucks a yeah. ticket, and, and realistically, twelve bucks is to get into the fall festival thing. Right. And the, we had a one dollar discount because we ate at the restaurant on the way there. Yeah. So real quick, my favorite part of it was the little girl. Yes. Because even though she screamed every time when it stopped, she said, "That was so much fun. I want to do it again." Unfortunately and for I her, couldn't blame her. Unfortunately for her, getting back <laughs> to the pricing, it's one ticket per admission. Right. I guess you could buy another ticket. I, I, I don't. I'd never inquired. I don't know how you get to go on it again? I, 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 I don't know. It would. It, it would be interesting. We were surprised. Yes, we were surprised by a sort of second haunted attraction, if yeah. you will. Um, yeah, we were roaming around, actually trying to find a place <laughs> to shoot the promo video. This is true. Yes. And we stumbled into something that turned out to be. I, I, I struggle to call it a haunted attraction, but it's yeah. haunted attraction ish. Yeah, it's interesting. It's called uh, Uncle <laughs> Aubrey's Funhouse. Yes. Is the name of it. And I think it's a permanent part of their fun farm. Meaning it, when the fun farm's open, you can go to the um, fun house right. even, when it, even when the haunted hay ride's not going. Mm -hmm. It is a completely unmanned, unattended, haunted attraction type thing. Yes. It, yep. It's a... Rooms are set up. Things do things. And you walk through it. And you listen to the tale of Uncle Aubrey. Mm -hmm. And it, it's... Pretty neat. It, it's manned by pressure pads and yeah. buttons you press. Mostly, right. the only button you really press is in the very beginning to sort of right. start the whole thing in motion. And I think it's all timed yeah, or all on sensors. All on sensors. Yeah. I think mostly it's um, on pressure pads. So I think I saw right. a lot of pressure pads and trip um, laser trip wires. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was actually some, it was it was not. I would not say it was scary. No. But it was more definitely a fun adventure though, and you got to see a lot of things you would see on a haunted attraction. Like the uh, the rat air jets and so right. forth were present, <laughs> yeah. so you got to see a lot of the haunty type stuff in there. But it was definitely more geared toward a funhouse environment right. than a haunt. Yeah. So, well, yeah, it, w it was pretty cool. The only thing I wish they had done, a was that there was someone there to sort of control the flow into that first room where you watch the video. Yeah. Because that confused a lot of people, including the group that sort of accidentally joined us yes. <laughs> for the tour, and also some of the scenes. It was hard to tell when the scene ended. Right. Because like we walked away from the scene and it's like still going and we didn't realize so like race back to it. So you just just take an extra second after you think a scene's over. Yeah. Well, yeah, those were the two things we checked out at Eckerd's and yeah. well we checked out a lot more, but the two things we're talking about here. We also yeah. che I I checked out the underground slide. Yes. And then nearly got a concussion because you know, if you're over like five <laughs> feet tall, please remain laying down until the ride comes to a full and complete stop. <laughs> Otherwise it's Okay, still going. Hey, it's hey, I see the exit. Psst. Okay, I don't see the exit anymore. <laughs> okay, that was just stars. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, but there was a lot of neat stuff there, and you know, I wouldn't mind going uh, during the day sometime to check out it all because it, it's definitely most of the stuff there is daytime attractions. Yeah, you could definitely you know spend from four to ten. Oh, easily, especially if you got a family. PM, you know, there. Yeah, because there's lots to do, lots to see, and yeah. it's all timed differently. So. Yeah, and so yeah, I could definitely see doing that if I had a family with a couple of kids and so forth. It was, it'd be and be a uh, very very cost effective too. Yeah, the pricing on it's pretty good. It's twelve dollars a ticket, and that includes one free haunted hay ride. It does. And by the way, I do recommend not getting on the first few groups in the haunted hay ride. The line is pretty severe right as they open, but it thins yeah. out pretty quickly. It does. Well, anything else? No, nothing. That pretty much covers Eckert's Fun Farm. So on that note, everyone, I'm Jonathan. I'm Crystal. This was Eckert's Fun Farm in Millstadt, Illinois. I, why do I turn into a German when I say that? It's probably because it's a German word. I don't know. But um, Eckert's Fun Farm in Millstadt, Illinois. We will see you guys next time.